I bet these electronics will come in handy later. We should collect as much as we can. Whoa! Fur, pull out your baseball launcher! looks a lot like home. Almost exactly. That's our house. That's where we built the coolest coaster ever. With the notable addition of a large second helping of dessert. Yeah, there's some serious lack of moderation here. I wonder what caused this to happen. Other dimension Isabella here. I'll be briefing you guys on any equipment you happen to come across. Your health is full, so you don't need a health pack yet. Third, look! I bet we could use the spare parts around here to construct a platypult. First, you should find each of the parts your blueprint needs. Look in the area around you for them. You may have to travel a little out of your way. We just need one more piece. There! We got the parts we need. Now let's finish our blueprint. You got all the parts. Now head over to the blueprint and finish your invention. I have a feeling we'll be making a lot of gadgets like this in our adventure. If you break open a health crate, they usually have several health packs inside. Ooh, a gold token. I bet we can use these for some fun games later. Whoa! The other Dimensionator is talking! Ferb, didn't that sound like Baljeet? We need to amplify the strength of this antenna. Let's get to building. This looks useful. Phineas! Farb! Can you hear me? Yeah, Baljeet. We've built an awesome giant antenna. We got a reading here that shows your other dimensionator powered down. You two are stuck in your current dimension. You can pick that up. I am a scientist. And even better, I can locate power sources for you. For example, I am picking up a huge source of power deep in the sewers. Why do we need to find power? The other Dimensionator you are using to skip across dimensions is out of power. Luckily, we can power it up manually. All right. So where's this power source? Head down that slide in the treehouse and you will find access into the sewers. You can tell there's a slide here? Science! Hey! There you are, Dr. Doofenshmirtz! Oh, hey there! We're heading down into the sewers. Head down there and we'll meet up with you.
There's the entrance to the sewers. around you. You have a new chip. We should visit a workbench as soon as we can. The energy readings are coming from deeper in the sewer. Keep going. You're getting closer. Okay, now that's just ridiculous. They appear to be coming out of the vaults. Okay, now that's just ridiculous. Those gears are huge. I think we'll need something to lift them into place. I know. Let's build an anti-gravity ray. We can use it to lift all sorts of things. Collector's item. We should be able to use the anti-gravity ray on these. We should be able to use the anti-gravity ray on these. The anti-gravity ray can lift and move heavy objects. It can also pick up smaller enemies so you can throw them as projectiles. That laser is the power source for that bridge. You will have to redirect it, but someone took out the reflector. Hey, we can use our anti-gravity ray to put these in the right places. It's a trap! He's got you! Shake! Shake free to get out! Health packs will restore a bit of health to both of you. Grab them when you're feeling low. This is the workbench where you can fabricate upgrades for your gadgets. A 
As your gadgets level up, you'll get more slots to install chips and make them more powerful. Great! I'm so glad you found me. These little blobs have been staring at me since I arrived. Help, 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 help! Ah, oh, finally. I thought I was gonna be trapped by those glot monsters forever. Candace, head down that path near you. It should lead you back to us. We'll meet up with you deeper in the sewers. I'm so through with gelatin. Forever. Try using the anti-gravity ray to lift those gears into place. A true collector's item. Surprisingly, I'm with the girl on this one. So done with gelatin. Just, just done. Keep walking, I can get myself out eventually. Somehow. A true collector's item. Curiouser and curiouser. Well, that started something. Let's hope nobody heard. Okay, Perry 
the platypus as much as this pains me to say, we are counting on you now. Look out! He's on the move! Don't let him get away! Amazing! He's changing his molecular structure with a new form of gelatin! He's becoming vulnerable to your carbonators. You'll have to find another way to defeat him. Hurry! Now's your chance! Jump up to those switches and see what they do. Here's your chance! Jump up to those switches and see what they do! You'll have to pull both switches! Oh, good one! Give him the old one, too! Doesn't he have some kind of self-destruct button or something? Yes! Oh, can't believe I'm actually cheering for Barry the Platypus. Doesn't he have some kind of self-destruct button or something? I was busy researching this mysterious turtle. He's an agent, codename Agent T. In this dimension, Phineas and Ferb took Baljeet along with him to the pet adoption center, and he picked a turtle. Team, meet Terry. Terry the turtle. Hey, I do remember a turtle at the pet adoption center where we picked out Perry. That must have been Agent T. Why couldn't he pick something cuter, like a rabbit? You could have been Agent Mr. Cutie Patootie. Uh, yes, I've, I've been in contact with his division head, and Agent T has agreed to accompany us if we help him drain the gelatin from Danville. Okay, now I really know what we're gonna do today. We're gonna clear Danville of this gelatin flood. But first, you guys need to grab your jetpacks. We need to hit the skies running. <sighs> I hope today ends soon.